Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. So today is a very informative type of video because it's more of my college journey. Uh, a subscriber commented on my previous videos na she would like me to make um, videos about my college journey in UPLB studying BS Chemistry. So her name is Cassidy Alavaso. Thank you so much for commenting and for the ideas. And today is, I think, part one of your request. So I will do a the frequent question and answer for a BS chem chemistry student from UPLB. So number one, mahirap pa sa UPLB? Is it difficult to study in UPLB? Um, <laughs> well, as you all know, UP is a very prestigious university. So it's a given already that it's quite challenging and difficult so you really need to up your study game <laughs> but with that said it's not very terrifying i guess i mean if you listen well to your professors and you try to understand every lesson that is given to you then i think you will pass and go through with flying colors <laughs> yes it's very challenging it's very difficult and especially if you aren't exposed to a lot of difficult topics during high school fortunately i graduated from a science high school so the topics weren't as difficult as it seems especially during the freshman and sophomore years because some topics were just uh, like a review for me but then when you get to the uh, major part of your degree like when i got to organic chemistry that's when everything went downhill <laughs> for me but nothing a good study night and a good study group won't remedy so yeah just make sure to do your part in studying and study well number two is it true that 90 to 100 percent gets delayed um i'm gonna be painfully honest yes <laughs> you might think na ano ba yan? best of the best cream of the crop part of a top university in the philippines and yet delayed well delayed in up means you're just a normal student okay <laughs> so kung halimaw ka you're a genius you're a prodigy you won't get delayed <laughs> um i don't know why it's like a norm in uplb especially in bs chemistry but I, I think it's because a lot of the subjects are prerequisites to the major subject so if and only if you fail in a certain subject then you know that whole series will be delayed as well another reason is financial constraints of course we can cannot um, I mean, not everyone has the privilege to go to school, to study. Fortunately, UP is now part of the free tuition system. So, if you want to be an ISCO or an ISCA, then free tuition na sa UPLB. And I believe the whole UP system is also free tuition. Another thing na makakapag-delay sa'yo is your thesis. Because sometimes, you cannot complete your thesis in one go. Sometimes, it takes more semesters because of the experiment. Because it doesn't go well as well as it should be it doesn't go as planned so there are a lot of factors bakit na de delay 90 to 100 percent pero yung number one reason talaga is minsan nagfe-fail sa ibang subjects because maybe there are just extremely hard subjects in the program and that that constitutes to failure of a subject but i don't think that that is the measure of intelligence sa BS Chemistry, lalo na sa UP, UP schools, and UPLB because um, grades aren't everything. <laughs> it's also important to have social skills, EQ, ganon. So, don't get discouraged if ever you fail. In all honesty, I have failing grades as well but you can always retake it in the next semester or you can do a mid-year semester during the summer so you can catch up and hopefully not get delayed 
where to find books or reviewer. Okay, so before face to face pa yung classes. So I can only say uh, my experience na face to face classes kasi yun lang naman yung meron ako. I started my college years 2015 pa. So I graduated last August 2021. So yes, delayed din ako. <laughs> Well, that's life. <laughs> Although, lahat naman kami halos delayed. So, you know, win-win. Anyway, where to find books and reviewer? Usually, at the start of the semester, my book fair sa lobby ng Chem Building. Uh, it's launched by this organization called ChemSoc or uh, Sus- the Chemical Society, I think. UP Chemical Society. Hindi ko alam yun yung full name nila because I am not a member of their organization. I am a barbarian. <laughs> so, I don't have any orgs or affiliations in UP. So, yeah, you can get books from ChemSoc. They sell books. Sometimes, I think, they also cater to uh, ano ba? other subjects like physics, math, ganun. So, just try to contact them. I think they have an, a Facebook page. So, I will leave the details here on the screen. And also, for the manuals, kunwari, for laboratory classes, every subject or every instructor is required to give you a manual. So, you buy that from them. Uh, usually, sa start ng semester, first day of classes, dun binibigay yung mga manuals, tapos babayaran nyo sa UPLBFI or minsan diretsyo na sa professor or instructor, tapos sila na yung magbibigay ng manual sa inyo. But I don't know how it works ngayon na modular online system yung learning. So, I don't know about that. I guess, maybe binibigyan kayo through email and you pay through online, I guess? I don't know. Pero, yeah, that's it. And then, other books can be found on various websites such as livegen.is. Yun talaga yung lifesaver for me, livegen.is. Kasi, I find every book there na reference ng mga professor kasi at the start of the semester, binibigyan kayo ng course syllabus, tapos nandun lahat yung references, and then, I just tap on my computer and then search for it on livegen.is. Usually, meron silang copy dun. If not, you can also ask uh, some reference materials from your friends. If ever you have um, higher year na friends na BS Chemistry din sa UPLB, you can actually ask them if they would give you some reference materials. Or, if you are interested, you can also join organizations such as ChemSoc and uh, UP Chemo Kinetics, I think. Nakalimutan ko. Basta dalawa yung academic organizations for chemistry in UPLB. So, you can join organizations like that. And then, sometimes they give you reference materials as well. Dala na yung mga higher years. So, just use your resources. Ako, I was a barbarian. I, I am not affiliated with any organizations, but I am fortunate enough to have friends who give me reference material. So, thank you, friends. So, it's important to have friends as well. So, I don't know how that works ngayon. Kasi, again, online classes kayo. Pero, try to be friends with your classmates so that sama-sama kayo, if ever. And, meron din tayong um, consultation hours from our professors and instructors. So, make use of that whenever you have free time and whenever they give consultation hours. You can actually consult your professors and instructors. Kapag nahihirapan kayo on a certain topic, on a certain subject, you can ask them to do a one-on-one review. Ganun. So, I actually do that sometimes if I really, really need it. And wag kayong mahiya because um, the consultation hours are there for your benefit. So, use it to your advantage. Number four, how to get high grades. Oof, I don't know. <laughs> Kasi, 
sa buong UP journey ko, parang high grades ko lang is during freshman. Freshman, sophomore years. Tapos thesis. <laughs> But I guess, it pays if you study the lessons beforehand. Like, you read about the topics beforehand. It's a big help. Also, if you practice the problems, especially uh, sa mga problem-solving related na chemistry problems, such as, um, siguro sa freshman year nyo, stoichiometry, tapos titration, tapos serial dilution, mga ganun. Familiarize yourself with the concepts and then try to solve as many problems as you can. So, it also helps na you have a study group. Ako, I am fortunate to have a close-knit circle of uh, BS Chemistry students then, And we study together whenever we have exams. Tapos, we compare and contrast our notes. Tapos, minsan may nagtuturo. Minsan, wala kaming alam lahat. Alam yun? So, it's also fun to have friends like that. So, make sure to invest in your friends, especially sa BS Chemistry. Sometimes, you really have to go the extra mile to uh, know more about the topic. How minsan, I don't rely on the professor's PowerPoint notes. I read chapters from the books, especially sa mga references nila, kasi sometimes they pick problems from the reference books that they give you. So, I try to practice from there as well. So, just practice. And then, number five, what is the learning style for BS Chemistry? I don't know if there is a definite learning style sa BS Chemistry degree program, but para sa akin, they are more of very, in, ano, very modern, kasi usually PowerPoint, ganyan. Wala masyadong nag-chalk and talk, unless it's a laboratory class, kasi nagsasolve kayo, ganyan. Mahilig sila sa reports sa lalong lalo na sa mga laboratory classes you really need to do pre-lab reports post-lab reports so you have to make sure na you do your reports well you make research as early as freshman pa lang you are doing research already so it's a really good training ground for you to have your thesis kasi first year pa lang nag-research na kayo may abstract na kayo ganyan my introduction about the experiment and then the questions are really engaging and challenging so talagang ma-apply mo yung mga principles of chemistry kailangan mo mag dig deep sa mga principles ng chemistry to answer your pre-lab and post-lab questions so i think there is a format for the pre-lab and post-lab reports uh, given by your instructor and it is also reflected in the manual so just scan your manuals for the um, definite formatting iba iba kasi per in laboratory class pero minsan pare pareho lang din so it depends kung sino yung magiging instructor niyo pero that's it i think you have to ready yourself for a lot of lab reports yun talaga Walang katapusang lab reports. Parang ngayon, gagawa ka ng pre-lab para sa isang subject. Bukas, gagawa ka ng pre-lab para sa isa pang subject. Tapos, gagawa ka pa ng post-lab. Tapos, gagawa ka ulit ng pre-lab, ng post-lab. Ganun. Ganun talaga yung life namin as BS Chemistry students. So, um, I didn't have much time to party. I don't know how they do that. Other chemistry students, they party around. They party a lot. I don't know how they do that. Pero... The, the schedule of ABS chemistry student, especially in first few years, very hectic talaga kasi very heavy with lab reports. So, you also need to um, manage your schedule well and make sure na balance yung laboratory tsaka lecture classes mo para hindi ka mahirapan gumawa ng lab reports. Last question, frequently asked question, for a BS chemistry student, how to find thesis topics. So, sa thesis topics, unang-una, mag interview kayo ng mga professors na qualified to be thesis advisors. So, once you have interviewed them, sometimes they have ongoing projects. And that's usually what they 
pitched to you as thesis topics. So from there, from the project, maghahanap ka na lang ng specific na problem. So for me, nag-interview ako ng tatlo. So isang inorganic, isang environmental chemistry, and isang organic chemistry. So out of the three, ako yung pum- uh, kami yung pumili ng advisor namin. So I picked the environmental chemistry related. It's a project about microplastics. So from there, naganap ako ng specific problem. So it's not spoon fed to you. You really have to do research as well. Pero meron na kayong general idea as to what the thesis is about because of your thesis advisor and their project. So kung wala namang project, you have the leeway to do whatever you want to do as long as under siya ng division ng thesis advisor niyo. For example, yung thesis advisor niyo yung specific ano niya, specific area or division is analytical chemistry. So you have to produce a thesis topic na under analytical chemistry or practice analytical chemistry techniques ganyan. So it's up to you. And I recommend that you choose a topic or a thesis advisor na you are comfortable with. Kasi yun yung ginawa ko para magaan na lang din para sa inyo. And hindi siya magiging work. It Work becomes play. Ganun. So, na-enjoy ko naman yung thesis ko. Especially when it was time for data gathering. It was very fun. And, you know... The, the principles are at work and it's very enjoyable I think <laughs> na ah ganito pala yun ganito pala yung nangyayari tapos um wow chemist ganun <laughs> I believe I did a vlog about my thesis a while ago mga 2 years ago na siguro I'm gonna link it up here sa cards and you can browse that uh, just a sneak peek of what we usually do at the lab Especially in an analytical chemistry lab or environmental chemistry na field. So, ayun. So, I guess that's most of the questions na tinatanong sa amin. And I hope na nasagot yung mga katanungan nyo. And if you have any more questions, don't hesitate to drop your questions below in the comment section feel free to ask me anything and maybe i will make another video about this one and i hope that this is enjoyable for you as well to watch and uh you picked something from this video until next time peace out Music